Welcome to day 54 of my 100 days of Webflow journey. Today we're gonna make a 3D object animate on scroll on Webflow. We're gonna create that animation and that object on spline, and then we're gonna export it and display it on Webflow, trigger it with animation, and then animate also some text around it. Without further ado, let's get to it. Let's see how this is done. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and stay tuned on this 100 days of Webflow journey. Let's get to work. Okay, so we have this blank page here. And uh, what we're gonna do is start with building the Webflow bit. And uh, then we'll integrate the spline bit. So first we'll just have a div. We'll call this page wrap. Uh, page wrapper will have overflow hidden. Page wrap and then inside page wrapper, uh, there will be main. Okay, so inside main, there will be a section called section one. Section one will have a height of 100 SVH and the width of 100%, uh, 100 V width. And section one will have a heading inside it. Let's uh, also section one will be flex center 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 and the heading will say the pen is mightier than the sword the section one will have an inner padding of 20 vh and uh, let's go to body let's choose body all page let's have this to be one rem mold 16 or whatever and uh, this will be one um and then we'll choose the font to be great vibes. Uh, let's remove the weight actually, and the color to be white, the background to be, yeah, this is good. Okay, so heading one will be 100, or actually five view width. This is nicer. And let's create another one. That's one will say, the pen is the tongue of the mind the pen is the tongue of the mind the pen is mightier in the sword okay so let's create another section so this section will be called section track and this will be uh, let's say 200 view height so we'll scroll through it and it will have inside it the camera which will be so how do we do this? Okay, so section track is relative and the camera, we'll call this camera, will be flex center center, 100 view width, 100 view height, and we'll add the second text inside the camera because what we want basically is to bring that text in. Uh, camera will be sticky, uh, zero, so it's always there. And uh, let's just remove this. Okay, the pen is mightier than the sword. The pen is the tongue of the mind. Okay, uh, let's um, let's animate this. So what 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 will happen here is basically this will just move in from minus one hundred view width to zero view width. So let's do that. Let's go to section track. Let's uh, say while scrolling into view, and then we'll play an animation. So this animation will start when elements start entering. So when this element starts entering, uh, we'll add an offset actually. So when elements start entering, so when element is here like at 50%, because we added an offset of 50%, this is where the animation starts. So this is where this element starts coming in. And, um, and then it ends the animation when element is fully invisible but I don't think that will be the case. So let's start a new animation. So this is bring text in and um, let's try. So we'll bring the camera from move. It will start at minus 100 view width and we'll come back to zero view width. Let's preview. So Uh, 
Okay, so this shouldn't be minus, actually, it should be 100 view width because I want it to come from the other side. Okay, so this is it. This is starting, as we said, at the middle, and then it's bringing it and just sticking there. But we also, yeah, this is good, actually. Let's, let's view this. This is perfect. This is exactly what we need. All right. So this is the animation. Now we just need to bring the pen in. Let's also give this a little bit of padding. So let's say 20 VH also. And uh, this let's have 20 VH from the top. So one is from the top, one is from the bottom. Okay, so this is our 3D pen. Now uh, we need to add um, an element that will be the pen itself 3d pen this will be div block with an embed inside it that will just create now this div block will be 100 view width 100 view height will be fixed and will just be there all the time this will be also let's center it so it centers whatever is there and uh, this will be 100 view width 100 view height as well so it's just always there okay so let's um so yeah so this is always there we just don't see it so let's go to spline so spline dot design uh, first, let's get the 3D element. So I go to Icon Scout. I have a, I love Icon Scout. It's a great tool, great library for tools and 3D elements especially. So you can edit these uh, GITF elements right within the tool. So here we'll just want to look for a pen. So let's look for a nice pen, nice 3D pen. Uh, so maybe this pen. So this pen right here looks good. Let's download this one and editable GITF. And let's go to spline. Let's log in. I'm already logged in. Let's choose a new file. And let's import. Let's delete this. Let's import. And GTLF, this is it. So this is the fountain pen. Let's go to the view. So this is how it's gonna look. Um, let's go to minus 90. Z index minus 90. Basically this is it. Let's just make it a bit bigger. Put it in the middle. So this is this is our pen. Now what we need to do is basically rotate it rotate it like this yeah and just keep basically just keep rotating it uh, first I need an interest animation so I'll put state so states is basically the from state one to state so the base state is say it's like up here it's smaller in size and then on state one it will just go in the middle and it will increase in size all right so if we animate this okay we can't see it yet but yeah this is base state this is real state let's make sure the positions as well not are not very different okay so this is good base state state one all right so this will be event start. Uh, this is where this animation will happen. So event start, transition, fountain pen, will transition from base state to state, to state one, it will take one second, ease and ease out. So let's see this, this is how it starts. Uh, maybe also base state will be a little bit inclined and then state one will be something like this so so yeah 
so like animate a little bit also let's just rotate it a bit so this will be like let's say minus 90 no minus 90 yeah let's let's minus 90 on the x-axis so let's see here yeah this is looking cool all right and then we scroll okay and then state 2 will be on scroll so state 2 will be we'll go back to 0 or let's say not 0 actually let's um, go back to like 3 or minus 3 yeah and uh, it will rotate so it will rotate three times so 360 times three so let's see how that is done and then it will do that on scroll so we'll add another event this event will say scroll and it will have the transition of the fountain pen to move from state to state two in one second that will change depending on the on the scroll okay so scroll will be on page and will start at zero will end at after say 4000 pixels all right so let's just have a look so here no let's also one more thing so we we'll go to the export we'll go to play settings we're actually gonna take it in viewer so we'll go to that we'll go to the play settings we will hide background color we will keep page scroll we will uh, disable all these we will disable the touch settings we will keep the pinching zoom none all right and then on hover maybe as well we'll just like keep the orbit camera just for fun and um, yeah let's update viewer and let's view this here so if we view it here now not the, the the mouse thing is too strong so let's uh, edit that so let's maybe make that to five sensitivity and uh, let's just view it now okay so this is good okay it's rotating well it's rotating nicely uh, let's actually make the state this rotation to be less than three wait where, where is it so here it was three right yeah something like this so that it doesn't yeah this is perfect this is great so let's try this out on our page now maybe i will just um so this can look better with material and stuff but we're just talking technicalities here so let's try it out on our page let's copy this embed let's go to the page let's just paste it here save and close publish and let's see how this works out all right so let's see this the pen comes in we scroll in we scroll in it's looking good maybe need some adjustment with the scroll but yeah this is looking good um, also let's just hide this for a bit so this section track if i bring it and where's no it's, the pen is the tongue of the mind so this one 20 view width down maybe we'll make it 40 view width or 30 and this one will be on top of the of the pen so say three here it's relative here it will be two let's give this a try so that the text goes on top of the pen and then on the second text will just go right above the pen so let's give this a try so uh, we refresh oh we forgot to unhide so let's bring that 
Let's publish. Let's refresh. Pen comes in. You scroll. It goes over. And then we scroll back. Uh, we'll make more of these throughout the next few days. So stay tuned for those. I'll keep this project as a clonable for you. Thank you for watching this video. I hope I taught you something today. Make sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Wafla journey by turning on that notification bell, seeing these videos on time and see you tomorrow in day 55.